Hello students, today we will be teaching chemistry from the chapter atomic structure, uh, chapter 4. Uh, next uh, topic is about the symbols, significance of symbols, the Tarkov's atomic theory, uh, modern system of naming elements introduced by J. J. Bargelias at Atomicity. Okay. So, let's uh, see what is a uh, symbol means. Symbol means it is the short form or the short name of the uh, elements. So it is the abbreviated uh, or the short form of the any elements that is called symbols. Now this is uh, this was actually proposed by um, uh, Sir John Dalton. Uh, he is a scientist. Now uh, uh, according to the uh, Dalton's atomic theory, uh, that uh, matter is made up of uh, indivisible small particles which are known as the atoms and atoms cannot be divided and next uh, um, uh, theory is that uh, uh, atom of uh, same elements will be same and atoms of different elements will be different in properties now uh, let's see what is the significance of symbols symbols means uh, significance of symbol means uh, what is the meaning of the symbols so first of all it will give the name of the elements that is give you uh, and uh, it will represent only one atom of the elements and uh, we can uh, um, uh, have uh, um, uh, less time to write the name of the elements and uh, one more thing uh, it is the uh, convenient to write the name of the elements by symbols so uh, for example if you see uh, that uh, symbol of sodium is Na that is only written N that is uh, coming from the Latin word natrium, but it is not written in natrium, it is written N A capital N small a. So uh, we can uh, save the time also. In the meantime, we can uh, give the short name of the that uh, elements. Now uh, let's see uh, this one. Um, what is the uh, symbol of the elements that is given in your book? That is in the page number 63. So starting from uh, hydrogen and up to it is given up to radium so to memorize uh, those, those symbols and uh, for the um, uh, symbol of the this different uh, metals that is coming from the latin names that is also given so that is given in the page number 63 now uh, what is the modern system of naming elements now it was introduced by sir jj Bergerius. Now, uh, what is the method? The first method is that uh, some of the elements name is given by the first uh, letter of their name. Say hydrogen. Hydrogen, the symbol is H. So it is uh, that symbol of the hydrogen is H because it is the first letter of the that uh, element, name of the element. Then some of the elements are uh, uh, symbols are like that. They are given with the that first two letters of the their name. Say cobalt. That is C O. So the first two letters is taken as the uh, their uh, symbol. Now another method is that uh, some of the elements uh, they are, um, have Latin name, say uh, say uh, sodium. Sodium the Latin name is natrium. So that uh, symbol for the sodium it is given N A. That is uh, symbol for sodium. Then similarly for potassium it is uh, Latin name is Kelium, so it is written as capital K. So similarly, different other uh, methods are there whose names are uh, name of the, the name of the, the Latin names. Now, next topic is that let's see for the atomicity. What is the meaning of atomicity? Atomicity means the the number of atoms present in the one atom of the element or in one molecule of that element. So, uh, now for example, uh, for helium, for uh, this one, uh, this, uh, all the noble gases, they are monoatomic. The molecules of the noble gases are monoatomic. They are uh, 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 known as monoatomic because they have only one atom in their molecules. Now, next is the diatomic. Diatomic means in the molecules of that uh, particular uh, substance, it will have two atoms so for example you can say nitrogen hydrogen oxygen they are diatomic because there are two atoms in the molecules of oxygen or nitrogen or hydrogen next uh, 
uh, is triatomic. Triatomic, there will be three atoms in one molecule of that substance. So, for example, ozone. Ozone have got three atoms in the molecules of ozone. Then uh, we can say another one. There is another category of the atomicity. There is triatomic. Uh, uh, so, there is tetraatomic. So, uh, tetraatom means there are four atoms in one molecule of that molecule. There are four atoms, say for phosphorus. Phosphorus got four atoms in the one molecule of phosphorus. That is called tetraatomic. Tetra means four. So, it means um, easily remember mono means one, only one atom. That is monoatomic. Di means two. That's why it is diatomic. Tri means three. There will be three atoms. That's why it is known as triatomic. Then tetraatomic. Tetra means four. There are four atoms in the molecules. Then we have got many other molecules like say sulfur. In sulfur there are eight atoms in one molecule of sulfur. Mm. Now uh, other than monoatomic, if the, uh, the molecules contains uh, more than one atom, uh, then it will be known as the polyatomics. Altogether they will be known as the polyatomics molecules. Now, uh, next one is that periodic table. Periodic periodic table. Now, what is the periodic table? It, actually, it is a table in which the, all the elements are arranged in, uh, in a vertical column or in the row according to their similarity in the properties. So, the table or chart will be known as the periodic table. There is a chart or you can say table where the elements are grouped in a um, group in the vertical column and we wish to uh, means, uh, arrange the elements in row also. So, in a periodic table there are 18, they are known as 18 columns in periodic table there are 18 columns and 7 periods now what is a column in column or you can say with the particular column they are known as the group vertical groups or vertical column which they are known as groups groups so in one group those elements are having same number of electron in the outermost shell so their properties also will be same so uh, they will have the all the chemical properties also will be same so they are all arranged into one group or column so there are how many uh, columns are there or groups there are 18 vertical columns which are known as the groups then horizontal rows there are seven horizontal rows they are known as they are known as periods so what are the periods that means the horizontal rows are known as the periods in the periodic table now now this uh, uh, this uh, group number is written uh, group number of the periodic table is used to write down the electronic configuration the group number then uh, next is that there is given in your page number 65 what are orbits now orbit means the electrons revolve around the uh, nucleus in an imaginary path or shells that is called orbits already as it said in the previous class the what is the orbits then electronic configuration now when the electrons are arranged in different shells around the nucleus then it will be known as the electronic configuration now atomic number of say we can give one example atomic number of sodium is 11 atomic number of sodium is 11 so sodium if we take the electronic configuration it will be configuration 
it will be known as it will be 2, 8, 1. That is the electronic configuration. Now that means in first shell there is K shell, K shell, the number of electrons will be 2. In L shell, number of electrons will be 8. And in the M shell, the number of electrons will be 1. So depending on the number of that electrons in the outermost shell, the elements are arranged in a group. So it will be in group 1. So that sodium is kept in group 1A. If you see the if you see the periodic table that is given in your book, that is in the page number, page number uh, 66, if you can see the chart that is periodic table. You see sodium is kept in group 1A because the number of electrons in the outermost shell is 1. So the group number will be 1. And uh, the outermost shell, that is shell 1, uh, this one M, uh, number of electrons is there 1. So that is known as the valence shell. That means you can find the valency of that particular element from that outermost shell. Now you see if you see that number of electrons outermost shell that is 1. So the sodium of having the valency plus 1. It will give out 1 electron to get the configuration of the novel gas. So uh, this electron, that is outermost electron, that is 1, it will be known as the valence electron. So that's all for today. The next day we will uh, discuss about the other electronic structure of all the other elements.